My dear compatriots, may I wish you the very best for the promising new year ahead. I know that many of you remain concerned, worried even, about the challenges ahead. Do not fear. As a government, we will make the necessary resources available to overcome the challenges we are facing with the economy, employment, growth, protecting purchasing power, the war on poverty, but also, of course, in the area of national security, with a relentless fight against terrorism, with an efficient and independent justice system, with a coherent immigration policy, and at the same time guaranteeing everyone's freedom and fundamental rights. I would also like to mention all those who work on many different levels to help define our nation, our retired, our youth, our teachers, our entrepreneurs, our unionists, not forgetting, of course, our nurses, who I know are listening tonight from hospitals across the nation. I want to reiterate our commitment to working at an international level to diplomatically and even militarily intervene if the global geostratic equilibrium and more specifically our interests are threatened. Finally, I cannot go without talking about the importance of environmental challenges. We will fulfill our responsibilities to bring about the energy transition and fight global warming and all forms of pollution. My dear compatriots, we need to stand together, not only as citizens of the country, but as citizens of the world, to guarantee peace, security, prosperity, and the preservation of our beautiful planet for generations to come. My dear compatriots, I wish you a very happy new year. My dear compatriots, may I wish you the My dear compatriots, may I wish you the very best for this promising new year ahead. I know that many of you remain concerned, worried even, about the challenges ahead. Do not fear. As a government, we will make the necessary resources available to overcome the challenges we are facing with the economy, employment, growth, protecting purchasing We now have an electoral map, divided into regions. This could come in very useful if you decide to run in local communication campaigns and pursue a regional development policy. This is, of course, all part of optimizing results ahead of the next elections.
Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical, faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is threatening both our country and the international community. I have made a conscious decision to declare war. We regret that diplomacy has failed. It is now up to our guns to speak for us so that we can defend our homeland. Fellow esteemed citizens, it would be advised. Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical, faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is threatening both our country and the international community. I have made a conscious decision to declare war. We regret that diplomacy has failed. It is now up to our guns to speak for us so that we can defend our homeland.
Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical. Faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is threatening both our country and the international community, I have made a conscious decision to declare war. We regret that diplomacy has failed. It is now up to our guns to speak for us so that we can defend our homeland. With your approval, I will order the immediate destruction of the foreign units present on our territory. My fellow citizens, the dangers that threaten our country today leave me no choice but to declare general mobilization. We must not let ourselves be taken by surprise or to be intimidated. We have to act quickly. I strongly advise you to officially call on all our allies to come to our aid. My fellow citizens, the dangers that threaten our country today leave me no choice but to declare general mobilization. We must not let ourselves be taken by surprise or be intimidated.
fellow esteemed citizen. My fellow citizens, the dangers that threaten our country today leave me no choice but to declare general mobilization. We must not let ourselves be taken by surprise or to be intimidated. Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical, faced with repeated problems. We have been attacked. I ask you to show some leadership and declare war now. In these dark days, I call on our allies to maintain their commitments by standing at our side against the forces that threaten our country and the balance of power in this part of the world. These bastards have taken control. It is necessary to counterattack. These bastards have With your approval, I will... Our treaties with this country are worthless, and its position is unacceptable. So, do you want to officially declare war on it now?
fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical. Faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state. It is undeniable that this country is grossly violating rules of international law. I therefore urge you to react with all the firmness of which the Security Council is capable. The Concert of Nations will not tolerate this situation any longer. These bastards have taken con- Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical. Faced with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is threatening both our country and the international community, I have made a conscious decision to declare war. We regret that diplomacy has failed. It is now up to our guns to speak for us so that we can defend our homeland. These bastards have taken... These bastards have taken control! I am at the central square. Here we are, it's rumbling. The people have taken to the streets to express their exasperation. After everything you've made them go through, it's to be expected, right? It's touching to see all these people surge together, kids and the elderly arm in arm, uttering the same insults against you. If I were in their shoes, I would do the same thing. Moreover, I am in their shoes. Resign! 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 We have taken a slight advantage over the enemy in the battlefield. This should have a psychological...
Honestly. The balance of power is rather in our favour. My soldierly honour adamantly forbids the use of this type of weapons. For as long as I live, you will never have the army's approval to perpetrate a nuclear war. Your politics are on the right track. Boys did a good job. The set has been totally cleaned up. Now there are no more enemy units present. Our boys did a good job. I must confess to you that the current
Thank you. 